Welcome back to the Battle Wagon. Today, I washed my good car, and then it started pouring. So I said, fuck it. And I finished clay barring the Battle Wagon, and it looks, it looks like I clay barred the Battle Wagon. Which actually, if you've never clay barred in the rain before, which I'm assuming most people haven't, um, even I had never done it before, it actually goes really well because you just spray it down a little bit, and then the rain keeps it wet, so you just, uh, you can keep going and not really have to stop and keep spraying. It made it a lot easier. And as I expected, the roof of the car, which I did before, that took about maybe 20 minutes less than the rest of the car combined. I'm not going to say the rest of the car was easy, there was rough spots, but the, the roof was just actually that bad. For a comparison of how bad it was, here is the clay bar I used on only the roof, okay? As far as color goes. Here's the one I used on everything else for the entire car. They're about the same color, and that's just the roof. So just on the very top, I pulled off as much contaminants as I did on the rest of the paint combined, including the hood. Marjorie, I don't know why you weren't on your shit. I'm assuming you were also like two foot tall. So maybe that's why you couldn't reach the door handle. You scratched the shit out of it as you were just jumping forward all the time. Oh, I don't think anyone ever cleaned the top of that. It was just that bad. I'm gonna go back, wash off the rest of this, get it nice and pretty, and I'll show you the after results. So it's definitely not fully dry yet because to be entirely honest, um, all of my microfiber towels got caught in the rain when it started pouring earlier. But even the sections that are a little more dry, I mean, the reflection on this is substantially improved. You can actually see in the green paint now, it's got some real sheen to it again. It looks much better than it did beforehand. But even with a little bit of wetness to it, that reflection is just so much more clear. It's more crisp. It really has a nice bold color to it. You know it came out okay when you can reasonably use it as a mirror. Keep in mind, this is original paint on a 14-year-old car that was clearly not cared for or washed very well previously. So if you're looking for the results of clay barring a car, look no farther than this. It's just absolutely phenomenal as far as the color and the depth difference that you get in the paint. And yeah, I mean, there's still the scratches and dings. It's not perfect shape paint, but as far as preserving what you do have left, Clay barring is absolutely the way to go. Like I said here, I mean, you still got all the scratches from Freddy Krueger, and it obviously doesn't remove your dents and dings. If you have beat up paint to start with, it's still gonna have those imperfections, but for the paint that is there, if you really wanna get the most out of it, I absolutely recommend the clay barring. If you do do the clay barring, I recommend waxing it immediately after. I'm not going to because I'm gonna be doing more paint projects. But now that I've gotten the whole car, I know all the paint is prepped underneath, I can paint over it without having any issues. Side note, now that I got the car out is, uh, I went ahead and I replaced the front fog bulbs because one of them was out when I first got it. And I went with the yellow bulbs because they were the same price and I was like, oh yeah, mad tight JDM, yo. And um, if you get just yellow bulbs, you can't really tell they're yellow. They got like a little yellow hint to them, but you really can't tell that they're yellow bulbs. So I recommend if you really want that yellow look, there's either covers that you can get that cover the whole thing, or they'll sell a yellow vinyl, you can kind of wrap it yourself and do one of those, either the cover or the vinyl with the yellow bulb, and that'll actually give you that really deep color to it. The other minor repair I've made that I haven't done a video on is the seat heaters. I said when I first got the car were not working very well. So what I did is I just replaced the fuse because it was both of them that were having an issue and now they're actually working really well. They work great. And there was a whole box of the correct size fuse that was inside of the fuse box on the inside. I'm assuming this was a recurring issue the previous owner had where every so often it would just crap out and they'd swap in the new one. For real though, there's a full box. There's a full box of these fuses. But now my butt is toasty. There you have it, here is round two of paint prep for the battle wagon. I think it looks phenomenal, as always. Now I can start doing my next phase of Project Paint the Battle Wagon. Thank you for watching and stay posted, I'll have more material soon. Ah, God, that ass is hot! Honestly, I forgot how much I missed heated seats. Those are the best invention of all time. Oh, I still gotta clean this bitch out though, don't I?